What's up, Dronus? Autonomous is an interesting term to play with because that means that the drone is flying itself. As you may or may not know, there's a lot of different drones all around that can do all kind of different autonomous features, whether that just be the follow me feature to taking off by itself to actually not even having a controller at all. So that's what we're gonna do today, is talk about the five dopest autonomous drones that we can show you. Number five, we have the Amazon drone. I couldn't help but put this one on because it's kind of like my voice of optimism in the back of my head telling me that this is something that I'm gonna see one day is drones literally dropping off packages at people's houses. I would love that. I would honestly be like, all right, we have arrived. We are in the future. These drones are able to fly within 10 miles of whatever their home base is. They have about 30 minute flight time per battery, which means these things are moving to be able to go 10 miles and back um, after dropping off something that weighs up to five pounds, 86% of everything Amazon delivers is under five pounds. So these things can be quite useful. And honestly, let's talk about how green this is. Like there is literally no fossil fuels being burned and delivering these incredibly small and light packages. This makes number five of the list because these things can literally change the way that we look at how we get our stuff delivered to us, as well as doing it in a green way. And these things are definitely gonna be flying on their own. Amazon's doing it, they're testing it, and this to me is the future of autonomous drone flight. That's why it has come in at number five. Number four, we have the unique Typhoon Q500 4K drone. Of course, it can do the other features like the circling stuff, has the geo fences. The geo fencing basically says that this thing is never gonna fly within 26 feet of you, so it won't hit you. It won't run into you when you're flying it autonomously, which is kind of a big deal because drone blades can hurt faces a lot. This is the only drone that I know that it has a follow me feature that also tracks for altitude. That for me means a lot. If you're in a hilly terrain or you're on a mountain or you're doing something where the elevation does change, this could be crucial um, because you're gonna be able to follow that shot down the hill and then back up the hill. Outside of it being a 4K drone, outside of it having the grip that has a stabilized gimbal, outside of this thing supposedly competing with the Phantom on the equal footing, it lands at number four for its altitude autonomous flight capabilities. Number three, we have the Hex O Plus quadcopter. It has the standard three axis gimbal, so you know the shots are gonna be smooth. It's shooting on GoPro, so you know it's gonna look good. But the real big thing and why this made number three on the list is because it does all of it without a controller. This thing completely flies from your phone. It does not have an RC, it does not have a remote control. Taking off, landing, picking all the shots, doing everything. All of it, autonomous. I think it's a quality drone for somebody who's like, I need decent footage and I need it to happen in a way that I don't need to know how to fly a drone. This is your drone. This is it, this is what you want. If you don't really wanna learn how to fly drones and you want it to fly itself and still get really decent aerial images that look great, as in GoPro great, then this is your drone. Number two, we're actually gonna just kinda group some things here for number two. And what we have here is the DJI Phantom series. But what I'm really referring to is the Phantom 3 series and the Phantom 4. And the funny thing is a lot of people who are Phantom pilots don't even know because you actually have to flip the controller into F mode to be able to even find out about the autonomous features. You can literally draw a map of how you want it to fly. You can give it a point of interest, which means that you can say, hey, point the camera right here as you fly this route. You can make it circle. You can make it do a follow me feature. You can pretty much do all the autonomous features that you're gonna want. It also comes along with being a Phantom, which is like the easiest camera drone to fly in the first place. That is why the Phantoms are making it to number two on the autonomous drone list. Number one, we are looking at the 3DR Solo. This drone is the epitome of autonomous drone cinematography. I had to give them the points because they're the ones who created a lot of the shots in the first place, like the follow me features, the circling features, even just the hover, like by itself, like 3D Robotics was on it. This drone is supposedly the best when it comes to all these autonomous flying features. The 3DR Solo app itself is just a marvel of what autonomously you can do with this drone. All you have to do is say, this is the route that I want, and then you can even go as far as to put safety features by drawing geofences on there. You can actually make it so this drone won't ever run into anything that you don't want it to. This even has augmented reality, where it takes the feed from the GoPro and uses that to show you where you are, where the geofences are, and what the flight route is while it's doing it by itself. This drone is boss. And that is why it has made the number one droner, autonomous, unbelievable drone. I said it in the wrong order, but it feels so right. Drone us. Thank you again for watching the video. And if you wanna see more of these awesome lists about these drones and stuff, you can click here.
Yeah, I'm rubbing it. Or you, if you just want to see more things that I'm learning and talking about with all these awesome drone stuff, then you can find more of those drone videos right in this rubby spot right here. Otherwise, I would really appreciate it if you would take the time to go ahead and subscribe. And as always, stay fly.